Hi there and welcome back to the Lime Belly Press video channel um, and I'm on the wrong side of the camera again but it's just going to be a short video today. Um, how many times have I said that? Well there's going to be a few more times I'm going to be saying that. What we're going to look at today is just something very simple and it's locking up a chase base. So if you're viewing this you're either interested in buying, you've already got, whether you bought one or um, inherited one but what we're talking about is this it's the chase base now this has been developed so that if you're using photopolymer plates just like this one here on the chase from my chandler and price you literally peel off the bag backing off the plates stick them to your chase base and print away you, it's a very simple process, um, but if you don't get this bit right, it can affect your print. And we've been answering a few emails from new people and old about why they're not getting a nice even print when they've mounted their plates onto their chase base. Now, this is normally from new people who don't have a great amount of printing experience or maybe just people that have typically printed from wood or metal type or type high blocks and are just coming into the, the realms of possibilities of photopolymer plates. This chase, as I've just said, I took out of our chandelier and price. As you can see, and again this will depend on the press, but the deep relief chase base that I have in my chase is locked up in the centre of the chase itself. On an auto platen, well typically the Heidelbergs, the chase will be locked in the bottom right hand corner and this is because of the feed mechanism and the way the job will go through on a press like the Heidelberg. On a typical treadle press and a desktop Adana, your base will typically be locked up in the middle of your chase so that you're getting as even an impression on your plate for your print as possible. The reason we're doing this video is, well, one of the main reasons um, we've had people having problems with even printing on their plate has been down to in the first instance, the way that their base has been locked up in the chase. Basically, when you lock up your base in your chase, this back area that goes against the base, the back of your press, has to be as flat as possible. Now, not everybody has a stone or something very hard and flat in their press room that they can lay down their chase with the base furniture coins to get that perfectly flat back surface so it's very important that it is checked so basically we've got a, an old Farley in the corner um, and if I have to lock up a base for my own use I tend to use the bed of my Farley because I know it is so flat, so hard. I'm very careful so that I don't get any dents or dings. But it is possible to use, as long as you know it's flat, a decent cutting mat. And that's what I'm going to show you here. And I'm going to be using a base for an 8x5 in an 8x5 chase. And I'm just going to show you what you actually need. Now, our bases are designed. So this is called an 8x5 base, but it's actually slightly smaller than an 8x5 chase to allow for you to insert these narrow gauge coins or standard coins to lock up your base in your chase. So basically, this base was originally set up with two pieces of wooden furniture. So you can see I've got my chase on my mat I've inserted a piece of furniture there, piece in there, then using 
two coins, which I'm making sure those are inserted. And then you just increase tension. And this, the same principle will apply if we're using the standard gauge, which also fits with this base in an 8x5 chase. I'm just increasing the tension enough on the coins to take the weight without any movement of the base. Right, once we've tightened or just taken up the tension with those coins, we gently lift, lift the base, or the chase base, the form, and just make sure that everything is level. Now I'm just looking here and I can see one of these coins is not flush with my chase. And it may just be that it's too loose. So I'm just going to loosen that off, make sure my base and my chase are flush. in the hole. There we go. Just tighten that up enough. Same again on the side. There we go. Now I've just put that up on a normal cutting mat which I know is flat. It may take a little bit more fiddling with a larger base, larger chase, but the flattest surface that you can use to set this up on, the better off you'll be. Now that we've checked that that is flush at the back, we can tighten up those coins to make sure she isn't going to move, not over tightening, so that we're not distorting our chase, our form. And off we go. That is now ready to go into one of our presses, in this case an 8x5, and we're ready to print. What? Well, I hope that makes sense. Any questions, please do get in touch and we'll always reply, well, I'll always reply. Um, and yeah, drop us an email, subscribe to the channel because we really do appreciate all the support. Um, and thank you for watching. <laughs>